Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Shalom, shalom, Israel, most high Christ. Christ. Bless. Bless. You are now tuned in to the Natives Hour, oh. home, home of, of the, the Ten, ten tribes. tribes. That's right. <laughs> ten. I'm counting. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> hey, I had to think about that thing. I'm counting the guy to my right. Officer year. Yeah. And tonight's uh, show, we're going to go over a few things. We're going to go over a few things. What are we going over tonight? What are we going over? Native American, what? Catholics. Oh, the Catholics. Oh! You so called uh, Hispanic is gonna be pissed because this your favorite religion. This is the number one religion, but it's a reason though. It's a reason why the number one religion for the so called Hispanic. You ain't Hispanic. Right. You're not Spain. You're not uh, origin of Spain. You know that's not who you are. You're right. not Native American. You're not a, 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 a what is it? A savage? A native savage? That's what India means, yep. savage. That's not who you are. God calls you the Israelites. That's right. That's who God calls you, the Israelites. And it's a reason why Catholicism, am I saying that word right? Catholicism. Catholicism. Right. You got it. Catholicism is the number one religion in the so-called Native American and Hispanic community. Hmm. It's a reason. But we're going to go over a few things that plagues the Hispanic and Native American community. Regarding religion, Catholicism, right? Right out. Let's get Thank that first. Video. Let's get that first one. Let's go. This stuff is this is horrible, man. It's atrocious. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, dang! Go back, man. How, how y'all let me forget Gene, man? <laughs> this the second week in a row we don't forgot to introduce Gene. No, no, Gene was introduced last week. Yeah, but we we forgot. Oh, we we had oh, to come God. back and introduce Gene. Got gotcha. you. This is a second. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. Hey, Lord's willing, the kingdom, <laughs> Lord's will, we make it. I'm tell you, man. I want an army. Of silverbacks and grizzly bears. I'm, I'm just gonna be real with you. Just I don't, want an just, army. Just don't name them all, Gene. Nah, of course. Hey! They're gonna be Gene, Gene Jr., Gene. <laughs> <laughs> I want Come an army on, of silverbacks man. with 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 armor, with armor and everything, bro. Grizzly bears with armor. I'm telling you, man, that thing gonna be dope, man. That thing gonna be dope. We just go. All right, let's go. Let's, 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 let's take go. A... put the Levi accent on it. Go, go, Come on, go. Man. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Read that thing. Panelists call for what? panelists call for reckoning on abuse of Native American children at Catholic boarding schools. So remember, we went over this with a few weeks ago about how the boarding schools went into the Native American communities and actually kidnapped the children, taking them from their mothers, taking yep. them from their fathers, taking them from their families. In 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 uh in um uh, what's the word I'm looking for, in in desire to kill the Indian but save the man. Right. That's what they were doing. So they were taking them to these boarding schools, and these boarding schools were Catholic. These boarding schools were behind the religion of Roman Catholic demons. So let's read about some of the things that these boarding schools did under the name of Catholicism. Let's go. And its attempt to address sex abuse crisis. Sex of so off the jump, <laughs> off the jump, you already know some stuff is about to go down. Sex abuse crisis, right? In the Catholic Church boarding schools, we you don't. Know? The Catholic Church has issued apologies, mm -hmm. conducted investigations, and paid reparations. So hold on, we got to pause right there. The Catholic Church have paid reparations. That lets you know the Catholic Church is its own. Uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Government is its own government. Is its own entity. Uh, entity. Thank you. The Catholic Amazing. Church is its own entity. The Catholic Church said we pay reparations to those kids that we sexual sexually abused. Now they're adults. They're right. And, and and they don't come out with this stuff. You nah, wouldn't hear about ma mainstream media. Hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. You ain't going to hear about that. Right. You ain't going to hear about that. But behind the scenes, the Catholic Church is paying settlements. 
reparations. Apologizing. Apologizing. Behind the scenes. It's a cover up. It's a big cover up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But the Vatican has never publicly apologized. You for see a, that? The Vatican has never publicly apologized. Right. Before. For abuse inflicted on indigenous Americans mm. at Catholic run boarding schools in the United States and Canada <laughs> in the 19th and 20th centuries. Go ahead. According to presenters at a February 25th online panel event, Native American communities and the clerical abuse crisis hosted by Fordham University's Taking Responsibility Project. If you guys have any influence with the Pope, can you ask him to please apologize for what has happened to boarding school survivors? You asking the devil to right. apologize. Please apologize to the boarding school <laughs> survivors. That letting you know that majority of the kids that went into boarding schools, a lot of them died there. Right. A lot of and, them died or killed themselves and, and got hooked and, on dope or something. And uh, through a process of time. You know what I'm saying? So this shows you that it's been happening for a long time. Long time. Very Remember, long it's time. Said, go back to the date. Go back to the date. Read the date again. In uh, Catholic-run boarding schools in the United States and Canada in the 19th and 20th centuries. Right. 19th and 20th centuries. Yep. 19th and what was 19th century? That's the 1800? 1800, because there's always one, one, one number. number yeah. The 19th and the 20th centuries, man. Go ahead. It's crazy. If you, got, if you guys have any influence with the Pope, can you ask him to please apologize for what has happened to boarding school survivors, specifically native boarding school survivors? Specifically GAD. Right. Specifically, so called Native American boarding school survivors. We're going to read about the things they were doing to them. Let's go. Panelist Denise Lajamadir said at the webinar that would help with our healing. Government funded Catholic boarding schools for indigenous children in both countries were instruments of cultural genocide. Cultural genocide. That's that kill the Indian. Save the man. Yep. That's that cultural genocide. And, 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 and guess who funded it? The government funded it. Government funded Catholic boarding schools. Yep. Who was that? Uh, what was uh, what's his name? Right. Go ahead, read. Come on, y'all. Stay with us, man. Laja Demir said, her 2019 book, Stringing Rosaries, included first-person accounts from U.S. boarding school survivors in the Dakotas and Minnesota which she spent 10 years collecting. In the interview she conducted, she found that every single person she spoke to had either been a victim of sexual abuse, sexual abuse, while at boarding school or had witnessed it, she said. Although Pope Benedict XVI expressed sorrow, Oh, I'm so sorry. In, tw in 2009, over abuses in church-run schools in Canada, Pope Francis had not obliged a 2018 call by Canada's House of Commons for a formal apology. Hey, that's why God said in the book, give me Malachi. These people are the devil. These people are the damn mm -hmm. devil the Bible speaks of. Give me that Malachi, chapter 1. The book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. Hey, hold on, hold on. Is, is, is y'all going to be with us today? Is y'all going to be with us? Read it again. The book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 4. Bring it out. Whereas Edom say it, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. Go ahead. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. God says these people are the beginning of wickedness. The things they think of doing. Think about this, man. Who the hell? You say it's a, okay, okay. Let's say, okay. Let's say they really want it. To kill the Indian but save the man. That means that you are not supposed to uh, present any physical bodily harm to right, these people. Right. You're supposed to kill the culture. You're supposed to kill their language, kill their uh, customs. But what you doing physically harming these people? Right. If that's the, 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 the model the that you stand right, on, right. kill the Indian, save the man. Well, how come you still killing the man? <laughs> You're right. killing the Indian, they're killing the man. That makes no sense. These people are the board of wickedness. Read on. And the people. And the people. Against whom the Lord hath indignation. The Lord have hatred. Forever. The Lord says, I hate these people forever. I hate these people.
for forever. There's nothing that you can do to get the Lord to change his mind. Why? Because these people ain't repented. These people ain't repented from nothing they've done. If they truly wanted to seek the Lord's forgiveness, they need to give everything back they stole. They need to give everything. They need to go back to the Caucasus Mountains, set the world back in order because like you read in uh, Maccabees, it said when a white man came in power, evil is multiplied on the earth. Right. <laughs> and to show you that in Job 9 24, that the world is in their hand. Right, give it to the hand of the wicked. Right, the world is in their hand. To so do if that. they really <laughs> wanted to see, think about it, they're a Catholic church going under the banner of the Bible, the banner of Jesus, but they're doing all these atrocities to God's people. And they think they ain't got to pay for that? You think oh. God is not going to hold you guilty for that? Right, let's go. <laughs> they think they ain't going to pay for that. That's amazing. Although Pope Benedict XVI expressed sorrow in a 2009 over abuses in church-run schools in Canada, Pope Francis has not obliged a 2018 call by Canada's House of Commons for a formal apology, which was first requested in 2015 by Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission. The United States currently has no such commission. Though Biden's nominee for Secretary of Interior, U.S. Representative Deborah Holland, introduced a bill to create one with Senator Elizabeth Warren last fall. So Biden Half wanted to way, make, take a few steps. <laughs> Biden wanted to create a bill to deal with this. Reconciliation. Go back up. I'm not going to read. Recon- Reconciliation Commission, right? Go down. Now, let's go down. Go down. Slow down, but go down. Go. Down. Go. You go read about the things that they would go to. Uh, stop. 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 Go to Laji Modir. Laji Modir read excerpts from some of the accounts. I remember having to serve the priest's wine, but never in the wine hall. Uh oh. I remember being brought to the priest's room, but I never really remember leaving, you know? So, wait. That's crazy. <laughs> the, the, this child, remember, now, I'll, I'll, I'll forget if this is a woman or a man. I don't want to. Uh, oh, it's a man. Uh, this little boy now was a man. Right. He remembers when he was a little boy how he used to have to serve the priest's wine. Think about it. You got a little crazy. boy bringing wine, wine to a grown man. Right. And he said he never did it in the wine hall. He never did it in the cafeteria. Right. So he never did it in the presence of people. Never did it in the presence. He, y'all, he said, I remember, being, I remember being brought to the priest's room. So somebody had to bring him there. Damn. He says, I remember being brought to the priest's room. So in other words, it's not it's not just the 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 the, the pope doing it. Nah, it's they, all they, of right. them. Right. They they all the, in the cahoots. Nuns, they all in cahoots together. Go back. Damn. It says, but I never really remember leaving. That's crazy. <laughs> Read on. I'd wake up and how did I I never really thought about it. But now that I think about it, what did they do? What did they do? Wow. It's I wake up and how did I how, how did I get here? Right. What happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. They both, they got this little boy drunk. Right. At six drunk. years old. Right. And molested him. Oh, Dang. that's nasty. Molested him. And then, that's why the little boy woke up and said, what the did I get here? I never remember leaving. I remember going. Bro, you know what that sound like? That so, sound like you got drunk. Right. So you end like, up damn, being, how did I get right. to this party? How did I get to the front lawn? <laughs> right, and you end, up, you end up waking up in a spot that you did not start off in. Oh, nah, you uh, remember he said, yeah. I, 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 I never remember you leaving. Leave it, right. So he probably woke up back in his bed. Right. Like, damn, what the yep. hell? Go back. That's crazy. These people are the devil, man. Go back. Hey, but think about it. This is your Catholic church. This right. is your Catholic church, which a branch of Catholicism is Christianity, Baptist, uh, Jehovah Witness, yep. all of those Methodists. Methodists. Pentecostal, Pentecostal, right? All of those demonic religions is a branch off of the Roman and Catholic Church. Read. Adventists and all. One survivor said, describing her experiences at the age of six. One man, Lajah Demir, interviewed alongside. Oh, 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 so that was a chick. That was a chick. Go ahead. One man, Lajah Madir, interviewed alongside his brothers, had been molested by a priest. Mm. He had never told his brothers what had happened before. Go ahead. If I ever see that guy, I'm a, I'll kill him. Laja Madir recalled the man saying. Go ahead. Nuns were abusive. Uh-oh. The nuns. 
the nuns were supposedly the 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 followers of the Pope or some of the priests, right. and they were supposed to get married. But when you dig into the Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church, the nuns and the priests was banging it out. Yep, they ain't supposed they they supposed to, they uh, supposed to have uh, sex be, or nothing. Right, they supposed to be celibate. They supposed to be married to God and other crap. But them and the and the priests was banging it out. They used to give birth to babies and bury them under the church. Bruh. That's that's all. I'm telling you, all of that is on record. You can look that stuff up. Go back. One, uh, nuns were abusive too, Elijah Madir said, recounting a story she was told of how they would pick up boys' genitals to see if they were clean. They used to pick up little boys' genitals. Now watch this. Keep going. These were also instant. There were also instances of older girls abusing younger girls, mm. which probably means they were being abused themselves. Yep, that's exactly what it means. The older girls were being abused by the nuns, so that that's all they know. Right. So they started abusing the younger girls, and that's how the generation of abuse, generation of molestation, yep. generation of rape. That's how it starts. And then what comes off of rape and molestation is drugs. Alcohol, right. suicide, yep. murder. Different levels of depression. Different levels. Yep. It's different levels. Yep. But all of that stemmed from who? The Catholic Church. Damn devils. The Roman Catholic Church. Let's go. The first task in confronting this history of abuse before reconciliation can be possible must be truth-telling, a process Laja Madir said has barely begun in the United States. Homing through historical records at Marquette University, Laja Madeira has found evidence of 63 Catholic boarding schools for indigenous children in the U.S. In the time since her book's publication, she has found about 20 more, which she plans to include in her next book, she said. Go down. Read. Survivors experience corporal punishment and forced child labor. Uh-oh. Hunger. Malnourishment. Stop. Forced child labor. Labor. Dang. Don't that sound like slavery? Yep. That sounds just like what the so-called African Americans went through. Survivors experience corporal punishment, beatings, forced labor, hunger, hunger mal- malnutrition, uh, uh, mal- malnourishment, sexual and mental abuse. That's slavery. Right. That's exactly what that is. Let's go. Laja Madir said, torturous punishments were inflicted on children. They were made to kneel on broomsticks, locked in dungeons, and whipped. As adults, many of the survivors she spoke to still have unresolved grief, mental issues, relationships. Mental health issues. Mental health issues, relationship issues, and alcohol abuse. And there's nothing that was ever given to these people right. to overcome that thing. See, when white folks get hooked up for opioids... They don't go to jail. Right. They go to rehab. Yep. They rehab is paid for by the government. Yep. But got, you got, got all of these uh um all of these years of, of sexual mental health abuse. Right. Uh all of these years of torture, these years of child um uh child force labor, and there's nothing, nothing in place to, right. for these people. With their post to heal. Post traumatic stress syndrome. Yeah. Like, post traumatic slave, slave syndrome. syndrome. Right. There's nothing in place for them to heal. Go ahead. That's crazy, man. Some survivors feel an apology from the government or the church would be meaningless because they can't get their childhoods back. It is meaningless. They ain't going to do nothing. She said. But others say an apology would be validation of what the hell happened to them. Laja Madeira herself suffered because of what her parents and grandparents went through in boarding schools, she said. After her father's mother died in the 1918 flu pandemic, he was taken in by a neighboring Cree family in his home of North Dakota, but then was sent away to Kimawa Indian School in Oregon at the age of nine. Later, as a father, he he would whip his children with a belt. Her mother, who also went to boarding school, would discipline her children by making them kneel in a corner, though not on a broomstick. Laja Madeira went to Catholic to a Catholic boarding school herself, she said, and still has distorted fingers from being hit on the knuckles by nuns. The Damn. nuns are to tear their knuckles up. Now their fingers are all crooked. Watch this. Abuse at the schools was intrinsically linked with racism. Uh-oh. 
It was linked with racism. Go ahead. Lajah Madir, Watch this, y'all. Lajah Madir said, one survivor she interviewed told how when she was just four years old, four years old, a nun had scrubbed her with a stiff brush between her legs. Stop. Damn. Wow. The Whoa. nun scrubbed a what is six years old, six four. year four years old little girl with a stiff brush between her legs. What's oh, this? Keep what going. Until she bled. Oh, calling her a filthy savage as she did it. Called her a filthy savage as she scrubbed her private part as, as a four year old. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Adolescent. Uh, four year old. Uh, damn. Hmm? No. Uh, vulnerable. Right. Vulnerable. Okay. Four year old little girl. Yeah, man. With a stiff brush till she made her bleed. Hey, you know what's crazy? What a, a, the a, hell? A lot, a lot of times, I don't even remember, remember what happened at me or to me at four years old. For you to remember that, that means that's, that's, that's trauma. traumatic. That's, that's trauma. A, yep, that's a traumatic incident right there. That's trauma, bro. That's to what she remembers when she was four, being scrubbed <sighs> with a stiff brush and being called a dirty savage. Oh, 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 oh. This is the Catholic Church, y'all. This is your church that you go to every Sunday. You so-called Hispanic and Native American Indians. This is your church that you believe in so dearly. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they sleep over there. Come on, y'all. I did not sleep the entire night Probably after fine. hearing that story, Elijah Madir said. The racist and racialized context of the boarding school is not only permitted, but in fact created abuse, said Holscher, who is currently working alongside Downey a project to, on a project to map the boarding schools for indigenous children. Bishops were known to dump priests and sisters who were abusers into missions and boarding schools. Holster said. But another problem was that individuals who had not previously been abusers began to abuse children in Indian mission and boarding schools. People that wasn't dealing with abuse, it became so common. They say, you know what? Now we're going to start abusing these people. We're going to start abusing right. these people. Read. Holster noted that women religious play a much Women religious play a much larger role in sexual abuse in native context than they do in white context. Go ahead. She also pointed out that about half of the known survivors of sex abuse in native context are women. Mm. Whereas above five out of six survivors in the white American sex abuse crisis are men. What? Holster and Downey both reference priests whose own writings revealed that Downey described as a Jansenist obsession with a racist idea of indigenous children's inherent sinfulness and promiscuity. Ooh, read that again. That's a heavy step. Read that again. Holster and Downey both reference a priest whose own writings revealed that Downey described as a Genesis obsession with a racist idea of indigenous, indigenous children's Indigenous children's inherent, inherent sinfulness, sinfulness and promiscuity. Promiscuity. Oh, yeah. This priest said the children of Indians, they inherit sin. Right. They are doomed. They are uh, uh, destined to be promisc uh, promiscuous. Uh, you know what? They kind of sound like um. What's that? What's that? What's that religion? That um. Was that Jehovah? Isn't, that's not Jehovah's Witness. I don't know. Mormon. Mormonism. There you go. Saying that that we were destined to be slaves or cursed because yep. of our skin. Mm -hmm. Same thing. That's what this priest said. These, that's these, that the, the, the children of, of savages are destined for sin and promiscuity. That was Dude, dumb that's crazy. That's Give me Deuteronomy 28. That's Give me Deuteronomy 28. I pray y'all wake up over there. Yeah, man, that's one day, one day y'all gonna wake up. It always take y'all about 30 minutes in the show to wake up. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. I said you're going to serve them in hunger. And in thirst. And thirst. And in nakedness. And in want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And we are destroyed to this day. We are destroyed. Keep going. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. The white man. 
A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Watch this. A nation of fierce countenance. Fierce countenance. That means mm. they're not scared of nothing. Right. <laughs> nothing. Nothing scares these people at all. When it comes to war, they they really think in their mind that they can defeat any nation, any being, any that, outer space. That's that pride. That's that pride. That's that pride right there. It says fierce countenance. <laughs> that means yeah. nothing you can do to make these people back down. Back down. Yep. Or feel empathy or sympathy right. for you. Read on. A nation of fierce countenance, which will which shall not regard the person of the old. They don't care about the old. Watch this. Nor mm-hmm. show favor to the young. They don't care about the young. Four years old, taking a stiff brush, right. rubbing her vagina with it till it till it bleeds, Call, and calling her yeah. dirty savage. savage. Right, dude. Oh, it's more. Go back. We almost done with this. Go back. It's more. Watch this. Go down. Go down. Go down. Just slow down, but go down. Come on, I mean, you go faster. What's the other one I posted? Okay, pull up, pull up that. Read that religion in Mexico. Now we're gonna we're gonna prove that this Catholic religion is the number one religion in the so-called Spanish Native American community. Read that religion in Mexico. Catholic Christianity is the dominant religion in Mexico, representing about 82.7% of the total population as of 2010. Representing 82.7% of the population as of 2010. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a big number. That's a big number. That's a real big number. Catholicism runs Mexico. Right. And the same Catholics came in and conquered the so-called Aztecs. Hey, but just like just like how you were saying, look, look at look at the um the chart to the right. Bring it down just a little bit. Just like how you were saying, the um these other religions yep. are, are Protestant, of, Jehovah's Witness. They all are a, a branch, branch off of the Roman Catholic Church. Right. So technically, you might as well just say a hundred percent is just yep. rent over there. You know what yep. I'm saying? Keep going. In recent decades, the share of Catholics has been declining. Due to the growth of other Christian denominations. Catholics declining, but it's still 82%. <laughs> like you right. said, I let you know it was 100%. It was 100%, right. Keep going. Especially various Protestant churches, Jehovah's Witness, and Mormonism. Go which- down. Go down. Go down. Go down to, let me see. Stay, stop. The- Go down, Christianity. Uh, something. Go to the next one. Oh, yes. Uh, Judaism. That's what I wanted to read. Judaism. Read that. Judaism. The presence of Jews in Mexico dates back to 1521. Watch this. When Hernan Cortez conquered the Aztecs, accompanied by several conversos. Now, hold on. Wait, watch this. I want you to pay attention. The presence of Jews in Mexico dates back to 1521 when Hernan Cortes conquered the Aztecs, accompanied by several conversos. Now, when you see the word Jews, you think of someone that's originally born of Jacob. Right. Click on conversos. Let's read that. Converso. A converso, convert, was a Jew who converted to Catholicism in Spain or Portugal, particularly during the 14th and 15th centuries, or one of his or her descendants. Watch this. The majority of Spain's Jews converted to Christianity as a result of the pogroms in 1391. Mm -hmm. To safeguard the old Christian population and make sure that conversos, new new Christians. Christians, were true to their new faith, the holy office of the Inquisition was established in Spain in 1478. Now, I want you to click on as a result of po- uh, pogroms. Click on that. A pogrom is a violent riot aimed at the massacre or expulsion of an ethnic or religious group. Watch this. Particularly one aimed at Jews. Go ahead. The Slavic language's term originally entered the English language to describe 
19th and 20th century attacks on Jews in the Russian Empire, mostly within the pale of the, of settlement. Similar attacks against Jews at other times and places also became retrospectively known as pogroms. The word is now also sometimes used to describe publicly sanctioned purgative act, acts attacks, attacks against non-Jewish ethnic or religious groups. So watch this. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Back. Is this where we at? Yes. Now, no, go back. Go back one more. Read Judaism again. Judaism. The presence of Jews in Mexico dates back to 1521, when Hernan Cortez conquered the Aztecs, accompanied by several conversos. So there, the conversos were Jewish Jewish white folks that converted to Christianity. Right. That converted to Christianity, right? Keep reading. According to the last national census by the INEGI, there are now more than 67,000 Mexican Jews, the near totality of which, around 95%, live in the greater Mexico City area. So, so we got to understand, even the word Jew was tainted. The, the background behind being a Jew was tainted because those 67,000 Mexican Jews were taught by the conversos that came in right. 1521 when Hernan Cortez conquered the Aztecs. So they never taught them the uh, truth behind being a Jew. Right. Who are the Jews? What color the Jews? Why is this thing happening to? What is prophesied to happen to the Jews? So yes, they are Jews, but they are being taught by conversos, so meaning they're taught by Jewish people, right? People that's not Jews at all. So, they, so their mentality is not Jews at all. No, it's not so Jews. It's, it's just another branch of Roman, Roman Catholic, Catholic Church. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another branch of the Roman Catholic Church, but they label themselves Jews. Jews. Uh, that's that wordplay. It's, the word it's play. the wordplay. And they people. are Jews. Yes, they are Jews according to the Bible. Right. Yes, you Mexicans are the real biblical Jews of the Bible. But you were taught by Roman Catholic priests Roman Catholic nuns, they just say the word Jew, but they actually are teaching you the Roman Catholic way. Right. Go back. Go to the next one. Hey, you saw the devil, man. Religion in Cuba. Guns. Watch this. Reli Re religion in Cuba. Cuba's prevailing religion is Christianity. Watch this. Primarily Roman Catholicism. Although in some instances, it is profoundly modified and influenced through Syncretism. Go back. Go, go to the next one. So we went over uh, Cuba, right? Cuba. Go to the next one. Religion in the Dominican. So Mexico, Cuba, Dominican Republic. Right? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Religion in the Dominican Republic. Christianity is the most widely professed religion in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Historically, Catholicism dominated the religious <laughs> practices. Historically, Catholicism dominated the religious practices. Keep going. Of the country. And as the official religion of the state, it receives financial support from the government. Mm, keep going. In modern times, Protestant and non-Christian groups, such as Muslims and Jews, have experienced a population boom. Roman Catholicism. Most, the most professed denomination by far is Roman Catholicism, Protestantism, and other Christian religions. Morgan Foley was the leader of Protestantism for women in the 1800s. During the 1820s, Protestants migrated to the Dominican Republic from the United States. West Indian Protestants arrived on the island late 19th and early 20th centuries. And by the 1920s, several Protestant organizations were established all throughout the country, which added diversity to the religious representation in the Dominican Republic. Many of the Protestant groups in the DR had connections with organizations in the United States, including evangelical groups like Assemblies of God, Dominican Evangelical Church, and the Seventh-day Adventist Church. These groups dominated the Protestant movement in the early part of the 20th century. But in the 1960s and the 1970s, Pentecostal churches saw the most growth. Protestant denominations active in the Dominican Republic now include 
Assembly of God, Church of God, Baptist, Pentecostal, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Church of the Brethren. Other religions include the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and Jehovah's Witness, who have had a growing presence in the country. Missionaries from the Episcopal Church, the LDS Church, the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and various Mennonite churches also traveled to the island. Jehovah's Witnesses specifically have been known to be migrating, more so during the last decade, to the Dominican Republic where they feel there is a great need for evangelizing their faith. Hey, watch what, it. Go, go to Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3 real quick. Because one thing, even after knowing all this and, and hearing all this, what the Catholic Church is doing, the, how demonic they are and how wicked uh, uh, Esau is when, when it comes to dis- the destruction of our people. Wait, touch on Deuteronomy 28, verse 48 re- first real quick. Then we're going to go to Isaiah because uh, it's a point I want to make on that. Right now, after hearing and knowing all of this, what's going to be the next step? Read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Read it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Read on. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And in want of all things. We even even if we want to serve God, we got to go to our enemies. And that's that's a curse that falls under that we fall under as a people because we broke God's commandments. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed thee. Until we have been destroyed mentally. Mentally we have been destroyed. Right now we hear of all the wickedness that that, that is going on in, in the Catholic Church. And yet we are still there. Yet we decided not to move and go nowhere. We still believe in Catholicism. We are mentally destroyed. We mentally sick as a people. You understand? That's, 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 that, that's insane. Go to Isaiah 1 and 3 real quick. Because we as a people, we like, can we, we get like some stuff. bombs or something. I mean, what? you just over there chilling on your damn iPhone 20. The hell is this, man? <laughs> can we get something? Stay with us, man. Sheesh. Go ahead. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3 real quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. This, is why, this is why we're destroyed mentally. And this, and, and this is uh, how we're destroyed mentally. Read. The ox knoweth his owner. Read on. And the ass his master's crib. So the ox is a dumb animal. The, ox, the, the ass is a, is a dumb animal, but yet they know where their master live. They know how to get to their master's house. Read on. But Israel, our people, you so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, Israel, read, doth not know. You do not know. Read on. My people doth not consider. You don't consider who you are. You are the real Jews. You are the biblical That's Israelites right. that the Bible speak of. And yet we don't consider who we are. Yet we would rather sit in, 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 in the comfortability of the, of the Catholic Church after the destruction of what they're doing to our people even to the day, even till now. They, ha- they, they deny and they will refuse to give reparations or even apologize to our people for what they've done. And yet we, we're, we're looking for that apology instead of moving the forward. Hell is this? Right. Hey, go, go to the next one. Go to the next one. I want to say Catholic Church sexual abuse. So with no, with no, these are just brief countries: Mexico, Cuba, Dominican DR. Yep. We could have went above and beyond. We could have went oh, yeah. to many other places. That's that's what I thought. That um, oh yeah yeah, it's it's, it's going to show here. Watch this. Uh, read that. Read that. Read that. Watch this. Catholic Church sexual abuse cases. Catholic Church sexual abuse cases are cases of child sexual abuse by Catholic priests, nuns, and members of religious orders. In the 20th and 21st centuries, the cases have involved many allegations, investigations, trials, convictions, and revelations about decades of attempts by church officials to cover up reported incidents. Mm. Decades of attempts by the church to cover up reported incidents. Dang. That's amazing. It, That's it, power. It, right. The Catholic Church got power, man, to be able to cover up incidents. Watch this. Keep going. The abused include mostly boys, but also girls. Mostly boys. These priests were sticking their thing in these boys. Mostly. Damn. Go ahead. 
Some as young as three years old. Three year old boys and girls getting molested by people that is supposedly have been chosen by God. Oh, you, you, that's remember, nice. you remember the scripture you quoted earlier about the uh, the evils being multiplied on yeah. the earth. This is this is this is this is a, an example of evil being multiplied because Alexander the not so great gave his uh, Alexander uh, the Greek the Greek right <laughs> gave his uh, uh his 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 Rain split between his homies, and this is what happened throughout the world. They over here molesting little boys like like he did. That's how he died of syphilis. Yep. Yeah, simply died of a. Uh, he had uh, oh, a cancer in the booty. Yeah, man. STD, man. Yeah, yeah cancer in his booty. He's a little nasty, man. Bruh. But, but he called himself the Great, though. Right. No, no, no. America <laughs> called him. Alexander the Great. Right. Oh, right. The history books call him Alexander the, the Great. Greek. Right out. They call him that even though he was far from great. He, he was, was a murderer. He was, he was a molester. Right. He was a homosexual. Pedophile. Pedophile. And 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 went out the worst way. All praises. All praise, but he back, he back on the earth. Let's go. The abuse include mostly boys, but also girls. Some as young as three years old with the majority between the ages of 11 and 14. Criminal cases, for the most part, do not cover sexual harassment of adults. The accusations of abuse and cover-ups began to receive public attention during the late 1980s. Go down to the says by the 1990s. By the 1990s, the cases began to receive significant media and public attention in countries including Canada, United States, Chile, Australia, and Ireland, and much of Europe. Go down. Go to from 2001 to 2010. Watch this. From 2001 to 2010, the Holy See examined sex abuse cases involving about 3,000 priests. 3,000 priests. Dang. This is your Catholic church. 3,000 priests were involved in sex scandals. In nine years, bro, from 2001 to 2010, they found 3,000 priests. Watch this. Some of which dated back 50 years. Some incidents dated back 50 years. Bruh. So, so, 50, so, it's been so a cover up. You know what that means, right? You know you got to add, for every priest, you got to add about 10 to, 10 to 12 to. boys to, yep. and, and little girls. That's crazy. That's an that's a, a, a astronomical number. Yeah, it's a pandemic. It's a molestation pandemic. Right. Keep going. Diocesan officials and academics knowledgeable about the Roman Catholic Church say that sexual abuse by clergy is generally not discussed. It's not discussed. Nobody want to talk about it. And thus is difficult to measure. It's difficult to grab the number of how many uh, cases there really are because nobody want to talk about right. it. Right. Nobody want this. to talk about it. Watch this. Go in 2001. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Go. In a 2001 apology, oh, apology. Go ahead. John Paul II called sexual abuse within the church Watch this. a profound contradiction of the teaching and witness of Jesus Christ. Keep going. Watch this though. Let, let's see if if they just uh, canceled out the religion Catholic uh, uh, Catholicism. No, keep going. Benedict the Sixteenth apologized, met with victims, and spoke of his shame at the evil of abuse calling for perpetrators to be brought to justice and announcing mishandling by church authorities. Oh, yeah, don't blame the church. It's not the church, it's the people. It's not the church. Yeah, right. It's the whole organization. Right. It's the whole demonic uh, soil that it was uh, planted in. Read. In 2018, referring to a particular case in Chile, Pope Francis accused victims of fabricating allegations. Chile. Chile. Right. The people po down there. Yep. People ain't got <laughs> they po, they can't speak English. They po they ain't got nothing. But the post said they're fabricating. That's why they go to these uh broke places. They go right. to these, these uh, third ghettos world and th- they and did the same thing in Haiti. Yep. They do they go to these places where their word means mean nothing. nothing. Right. Just because you saw oh, they're just trying to get money off. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to get money. Come on, man. Go back. But by April was apologizing for his tragic error. Uh oh! It says by April he what? Was apologizing for his tragic error. So wait a minute. So first he said they're fabricating. Then he said 
I apologize. Right. Think God is not going to hold you Go guilty ahead. for that? And by August was expressing shame and sorrow for the tragic history. Go ahead. He convened a four-day summit meeting with the participation of the presidents of all the Episcopal, co ah, Episcopal conferences of the world, which was held in Vatican City from tw the 21st to 24th, February 2019, to discuss preventing sexual abuse by Catholic clergy. Catholic, Catholic Church, Church clergy. clergy. Now think about this, y'all. They stand on the Bible, supposedly. They stand on the Bible. They believe in Jesus Christ. Hey. Why would they have to come together and form a way to prevent right. child molestation amongst the priests? Think about that. Why would they have it's, to do that? It's some wickedness in the midst. It's wickedness going on. It's, it's wickedness. wickedness what, on. what that means is that when you become a priest, you automatically get access to boys' booty. That's just in the contract. <laughs> Just be real with you. That's in the contract. Yeah, when you become a real, priest, man. you automatically get access to little boys' booties. Bro, what are you the hell is this? That's in the contract. For them to say, and hey, we got to form a group to come together and and try to prevent all of these priests from molesting little boys. You know what they say too? The people that's forming the groups is on the outside of the people that's actually doing the molestation. Or. They are on the they are the people doing the molestation, but in front of the news, they gotta act like they're doing something to change it. Mm. That's exactly Say what, what it is. That's right. exactly what it is. Hit it on the head. <laughs> Hit it on the Because they all in cahoots, bro. Bro, when you go to the Pope, I mean you go you, you talk about people that think Pope is the second coming of Christ. Right. And they give their children to these demons. Yeah, knowing no. knowing that they are molested. That was dumb as hell. They let their they let the Pope fill their children Ooh, with the a, unholy uh, <laughs> Come on that's, now, that's dog. As hell. And they, come they think, on, man. They think, they, they think the Pope filling their children with the man. holy seed of God. Oh, hell no. Oh, hey, can I get a script real quick? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to hold on. Good Isaiah 1 real quick. God dang. That's what they're doing. Because think about it, brother. They, oh, they see this man. man as the second coming of Christ. Yes. And with the Bible, with the doctrine of Satan, you can uh, manipulate anybody right. that, that don't know the, the, the true the doctrine truth, right. of God. Yep. You can manipulate people. That's why the scripture said that Satan come as an angel of light. Yep. So you thought, oh, this man is God. Pope is God. Pope is set the second coming of Christ. Here, fill my child with your holy seed. That's what they're doing. That's what's going on. Give me Isaiah 1 and 9. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 9. Bring it out. Except the Lord of hosts had left us unto us a very small remnant. Hey, because a lot of grown dudes, they, I'm going to tell you straight, they know. They've been touched by a Catholic priest, mm -hmm. and they know it's bad, but because of the religion and the, uh, what's the word? The customs and, and the, uh, what's the tradition? Word? Tra thank you. Because of the tradition of this religion, my grandma was a Catholic, my great-grandma, right. my great-great-grandmother, right. I'm not going to speak out against this priest. He baptized all of us. And now, see, <laughs> now, now see this, this is just on a branch of Catholicism. Right. This ain't talking about the other, the, the mm, other branches of, of, of yeah, Christianity. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Because so, it all falls under the same breast. Right. That's why you find pedophilia, you find homosexuality in Christianity. Yep. You find dudes sleeping with dudes, uh, little boys, having mentors. Yep. Gay, gay, gay pastors, pa choir leaders, or directors. Yeah, choir or, leaders. Hey, I mean, you saw that with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Eddie Long. Oh, oh, right. Man. Eddie Long had to, he was a mentor to dudes that he was smashing. Oh, he died, right? Man. Yeah, he died of AIDS. Damn. I don't care what nobody say. Don't nobody go from 400 pounds to 120 pounds in four weeks. Hell no. Yeah. That's AIDS, bro. Yeah. That's AIDS. Bro, you died quick. He you died, died quick. He died, died slow. You died quick. He died quick. <laughs> you got that quick. quick. He had AIDS. I'm, I'm be real with I don't care what nobody say. That brother had AIDS. Yeah. Trying to lie, say it was a he died from natural causes. Don't nobody man, go from four hundred pounds to one eight, one twenty naturally. Ain't no natural man. If that's the case. And everybody then would have been losing losing weight. Like what I'm crazy. saying. And then die all of a sudden. <laughs> Let's go. Isaiah chapter one and verse nine. 
except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom, uh-huh. and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. God says, except the Lord of hosts have left up a very small remnant. We are that remnant. Right. We are that remnant will reveal the truth of these demonic religions yep. to That's demand right. our people to come out of these demonic religions because Catholicism is demonic. Christianity is demonic. Right. And they all push the Sodom agenda. Right. Think about that. That's right. This is how you know who this is talking about. Because the, the religions that's not of God, they push Sodom. They oh, yeah. push Sodom and Gomorrah. They push yep. the same acts and atrocities that it's was all right. going on. That the reason why they got destroyed. It's all right. Christ, God knows my heart. Right, God come at, come heart. as you are. Come as you are. That, that's what they teach. Keep going to that Catholic church. That's go go teach. and confess your sins. And do 30 Hail Marys. 30 Hail Marys. And now, now I know you a whoremonger. Now I know. Oh, I this, got some up on you. I now. got some on you. Yeah. Now I can touch your little boy. Right. Because I, you don't want me to tell your wife that you've been sleeping around on her. Yep. You're so dumb. dumb as hell. You don't want me to tell your husband that you done committed the dodgy twenty times. So you know what? Yep. Give me your boy. Let me let me fill your boy with my holy seed.